hello everyone welcome to creative point now in this video we are going to test the measuring test of any kind of motor and compressor this is the main instrument is called measuring machine uh, this is the machine we can uh, use to check the insulation uh, it is in ground fault or not that's why we are uh, we have this instrument okay this is the main instrument it is called measuring machine the model number of this uh, instrument is mit 400 as you see we have one uh, one, one motor uh, induction motor that's why we are going to test the insulation of this motor okay As you see this is our main in, uh, induction motor three phase induction motor and uh, this motor uh, we are going to test the insulation uh, with ground and also we are going to test the coil to coil uh, insulation of this motor this the brand of this motor is uh, Lore summer this is three phase 220 induction motor okay now we are going to test the making test of uh, this new motor because we have to replace with new motor with the defective motor as you see the uh, motor is connection uh, connected with delta connection before testing uh, making testing we have to remove all the three all the terminal first because uh, we cannot check uh, maker with connect connected um, insulation we have to remove all the terminal now our technician is going to remove all its terminal uh, so that we can check the measuring test or insulation test As you see, they remove our technician already remove all the um, three ter uh, all the terminal. Now we are going to test uh, the um, uh, winding with uh, uh, all three winding with the uh, ground. Okay, that's why now we put the black cables into the negative terminal and the red uh, cable into the positive terminal. Okay and after that we have to check the uh, the instrument is in good condition or not that's why uh, he already sorted the board the terminal and after that he pressed the test button as you see there is coming 0.0, .0 mega ohm that means the cable is in uh, short condition that means uh, our instrument it is in good condition okay now after that we have to uh, put the black terminal into the ground and uh, red one into the uh, one of the one of um, one winding of this motor okay after that uh, we have to put uh, into the dc voltage uh, we have to put uh, into 500 dc voltage okay after that we have to press the test bottom for checking the insulation of uh, its uh, first winding Now he press the test button for 5 to 10 seconds. We have to press it for 5 to 10 seconds only. As you see, there is coming 10 giga ohm. That means the insulation with the ground is in good condition because the value is greater than 10 giga ohm. After that, we have to check simultaneously all three winding with the ground. Okay, and that one is also coming. Um, 10 giga ohm that means the second winding also in good condition there is no ground fault with the winding okay after that we have to test the third winding the last winding with ground as you see that one is also coming 10 giga ohm that means all three winding with the ground is in good condition is there no any ground fault with the ground of this its winding 
okay after that uh, after that uh, with ground we have to check with the coil to coil um, insulation okay for coil to coil we have to check uh, as you see there is a three coil a b c like this uh, that's why we have to check a b b c and a c uh, uh, insulation okay as you see there is also there is coming 10 giga ohm that means the coil to coil insulation is also in good condition uh, there is coming greater than 10 giga ohm that means the coil to coil uh, insulation is in good condition we have to check all three uh, coil with uh, different different uh, time that's why we have to find that is also in 10 giga ohm thank you for watching creative point keep watching stay connected thank you thank you everyone